Oh my gosh, my back is broken from taking that thumbnail. Hey guys, it is the beginning of the month and I am so excited because that means we are going to be allowing the TBR jar to pick our read for the month. I actually haven't done a traditional one in so long because I kind of got a little bit burnt out. I just really love mood reading. So I took a break from it, but now I feel so motivated and excited and there's so many good books on my TBR. If you compare my TBR videos to maybe others, you might be a little disappointed. I don't read all of the ones that I always pick. Um, usually I try and read like at least two of them. I have a few new prompts in here, but it's been so long since we did a traditional TBR video that I honestly, I forgot what some of these are. I have so many new books, so I'm... <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> that, that, that does nothing. They don't move at all. <laughs> a book I didn't get to from last month's TBR. I would show what they say, but you're just gonna have to trust me on this because my handwriting is kind of atrocious. I get another chance. Okay, I actually put them all down here, so that makes it easy. These were the ones that I did not get to from last month's TBR. Truly Devious and When Fate Breaks. When Fate Breaks is a romance, and I think it might be a second chance romance. This one sounds so good. And then Truly Devious is like a young adult mystery, and it kind of is similar to A Good Girl's Guide to Murder from what I've heard. I think I'm going to go for Truly Devious just because I really, really did want to get to this one this month, but I didn't get to because, you know, there's only so many days. Hey, okay, Truly Devious, you have been saved. This one is about a girl who goes to this private school, I believe. Years ago, the headmaster, his wife and daughter were kidnapped by someone who uses the surname Truly Devious. And this ended up becoming a cold case. And I think Truly Devious actually ends up coming back and maybe starts taking more people. I don't know. So I'm very excited to read this one. Let's do that one, because it clearly won a mystery thriller. I could have done Truly Devious, but... Okay, let's just look at what I've got. Oh my... <gasps> Wait, I have one. I have The Reappearance of Rachel Price, which just came out. This is by Holly Jackson. My only worry is that whichever one I read first, this or Truly Devious, might take away from the other one, I don't want to compare them. Um, a mystery thriller. I have a mystery, but it sounds like more of a cozy mystery. Oh, I have The Coworker by Frida McFadden. It's a mystery slash thriller. So I think I'm safe to go with like a cozy mystery, right? Right? Are you guys okay with that? Cause I'm gonna do this one. I am very excited to read this one. It's called, Every Time I Go On Vacation, Someone Dies. I just love the title, it's so funny. And then look at the cover, it's just so cute. Look at all of them. They're so up to something. I think this one is about an author who is in Italy or something on tour for her new book and she's planning on killing off one of her characters named Connor. But it's actually funny because in real life there's an attempt that's made to actually kill the real life Connor who is a con man that she met and I think maybe there's some romance between them or there used to be. She kind of signs up to help try and figure out who tried to get away with murder. It sounds really good, especially this little part right here. It says 10 days, eight suspects, six cities, five authors, three bodies, one trip to die for. I love how these pages feel. <laughs> okay, we're doing it. We're doing this one because I want more of a serious one and then another funny one. And Elle Casimano, she actually has a blurb on this one and I love her, I love Finley Donovan. Oh, they're falling out. Last book you bought. Oh my gosh. Okay, I went book shopping. So technically, there's a whole stack of ones that I just bought. 
I did buy a funny story recently, but technically I bought it a couple days before I bought these. These are the ones that I recently bought. I bought The Reappearance of Rachel Price, The Promise of Pyrrhot. This is the second book in the Sacred Stone series, and the first one is called The Dawn of Onyx. I loved that book so much. So I might have to do this one. This is Romanticy, and it's so good, you guys. I, I don't know about the second one, but the first one was really good. So I definitely recommend picking it up and reading it and giving it a shot to see if you'd like it. And then I got How to End a Love Story. This sounds more like an emotional romance, but I am so down. It actually just sounded really good to me. So I was like, I need to get that. And then The Rule Book by Sarah Adams. I just finished the cheat sheet and it was so good. I, I kind of want to jump back into another Sarah Adams book. Holy crap, this is so hard. Wait, how will I choose? I think this is a no for now because of what I said earlier. Okay, I'm actually so shocked by my answer, but I'm gonna go with the rule book because I loved the cheat sheet so much and I want another Sarah Adams book. So we're just gonna go with this one. This one sounds really cute. Basically the main character becomes a like sports agent for this NFL player who happens to be her ex-boyfriend. And she actually broke his heart, so he kind of sees this as an opportunity to get revenge and make her life miserable. But then they end up having a night in Vegas, wake up the next morning, and they're married. This is like a Ross and Rachel situation. Let's do another. A book published in the year you were born. Wow, okay. I, I think most of the ones on my cart will not be. This is gonna be very difficult, but let's see if we can find one. Whoa, that is old. The second book of A Game of Thrones? Copyright 1999. We am scared. This is actually quite scary to me, but also perfect. What are the chances, you know? The one that I found that was published the year that I was born, A Clash of Kings by George R.R. R. Martin. It's huge. I recently read the first book and I absolutely loved it. I'm very excited to hop into back into the world and back into the series. As probably a lot of you know, the series is not completed. I can kind of take my time. I am very excited to hop back into it, so we're just gonna have to go with A Clash of Kings. After that, we need to get a chill one. A book with a title that starts with the first letter of your name. Oh, okay, that's cute and fun. My name is Ashlyn, so that's what we're looking for. I am just gonna go with Alternate Endings by Allie Rosen. This was actually sent to me as like an ARC coffee, and I think this is my first ARC coffee that I have ever received, so Thank you so much. I am seriously so excited to read this. I don't know the rules with that though, so I'm just gonna, I don't know what I can say and what I can't say. Just because I don't know the rules, I'm not gonna say what it's about, but I think that it's like a second chance romance, but I could be, I'm gonna read the back. Ooh, okay, this sounds so good. I love romances that take place abroad. I don't know why, I just love that. So this is gonna be really cute. Thank you so much, I'm so excited to read this. Let's do another one. Read a book that is a part of a series. <gasps> Ooh, okay, this is gonna be so good. It's Iron Gold by Pierce Brown. I read the first three books of the Red Rising series, which I love that series with my whole heart. It is amazing. I actually am planning on doing a buddy read this month with a super special friend. This is going to be like mentally and emotionally taxing. So it's good that we'll have each other to read this. How big is it? Oh yeah, that's the thing with Pierce Brown. His books are always thick. I'm so excited to hop back into the Red Rising universe. This is gonna be epic. There's no other word. These are all the books that are on my priority TBR for May. Let me know which one of these you would like to see in a reading vlog and I will definitely try and make that a priority. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.